Have you connected a pair of Bluetooth speakers or speakers that you plug in or a pair of headphones to your MacBook, your Mac Mini, your iMac, and the sound just isn't coming out through those devices? Then this video, I'm just going to quickly show you how you can make sure your audio goes where you want it to go. I don't know how many times I've connected a pair of headphones and it still comes out through my speakers or vice versa. So there's two ways that you can do it, and I'm going to jump over and share my screen real quick. The first way is if you're on a MacBook with macOS Big Sur, which is their latest operating system as of this video. If you are watching this video way down the road, make sure you're still on that latest. But as of Mac OS Big Sur, you'll click on these two little kind of pill icons. And if you hover over sound, you're going to see there's a little arrow that shows up on the right hand side. If you tap on that, it's going to show you all the different places you can send your sound to. So right now you'll see Ecamm Live App Audio is clicked with a little blue icon there. Let's say you want them to play through your MacBook Pro speakers instead of that. All I do is I click on MacBook Pro speakers. If you want it to go through your headphones, you'll see headphones in the list. I don't have any headphones plugged in right now. So if I had some headphones plugged in, you would actually see them in the list. So you could click them right there and off you go. If you don't see that icon or you're just not 100% sure, it might look a little different, there is a second way to get to the same spot. If you click on the Apple icon in the top left hand corner and you'll go to System Preferences, you want to look for the icon that says Sound and tap on that. You're going to see three tabs across the top, Sound Effects, Output, and Input. Make sure Output selected, it already is, and I think most of the time you get in here it's already selected. But you're again going to see a list of all your different outputs. Just make sure the one you want to go to is selected. All you have to do is click on it, and then you can close out of this window, and you're all set to go.